Hey everybody, Coach Kozak here from Hasfit. And Claudia. And today we're going to answer the questions that you guys asked from us. So, all right, uh, we have not looked through these. Uh, we printed them out, put them in a little bowl, so this is completely at random. We're just going to, uh, off the cuff here today, going to answer your questions. All right, so let's get into this. I'll read the first one. Uh, Andrew Wing One asks, did you and Claudia ever have to lose a significant amount of weight or have you always been fit? Uh, that's a good question. I, I guess I'll go first. Um, you know, honestly, I've always been in shape and then I've even thought about at times, you know, gaining a bunch of weight and then losing it as you've seen a few people on the internet have done just to, you know, have to go through that experience and the emotional part of myself, but I've trained so many people and I've gone through those battles and fought those obstacles with them that I almost feel like I have myself. Uh, but at the same time, you know, I understand that, you know, uh, I haven't directly walked in those shoes. Um, as for me, I have not always been this fit. Um, I've never been overweight, but I have been. Um, I've had some meat on my bones, so I would have probably have to say, yes, I have been um, at most about 20 pounds heavier than what I am now, um, and just recently it's been, um, you know, I've, I've lost weight for the wedding, and then I've just, I basically have just maintained my weight loss at this point. So, yes, I have had to lose weight. I've gone through it. I know what it feels like. All right. Okay, my turn? Yes, ma'am. Let's see. Can Film Productions asks, what did Claudia think when you told her about your YouTube channel? Um, she wasn't I don't, impressed. <laughs> I wasn't. <laughs> um, I don't even remember. I don't remember how that came up. Um, I just... You know, because a lot of people have YouTube channels, and uh, I guess I didn't think of it at the time uh, how much of an impact his YouTube channel actually had on people's lives. So at the time, I was like, oh, that's cool. That's. She was very dismissive, I can tell you that much. I was. I, like, was. I was like, no, really, it's a big deal. Yeah. No, I'm just joking, but. <laughs> Not really. Uh, yeah, so um, once I learned about Husband, of course, I thought it was the, an awesome idea and an awesome thing that he's even doing. It's a great service to, to many people. So in the beginning, no, I was not impressed, but now I think it's fantastic. It's true. It worked out in the long run. It did. Okay. Right. Jose Velasquez asks. Velasquez. Sorry, we're working on it. My apologies, Jose. <laughs> <laughs> why do all why do you do all these for free? Um, great question. That is a great question. Um, in short, because it, it is the best way for Haskett to reach as many people as possible. So if, you know, if we're, if we're going to put a price tag on it, then yes, you know, maybe we make a little bit more money. Well, guarantee we make a little bit more money. But then you know, it would only reach so many people. The great thing about it being free is it ensures its success, it ensures that it's going to reach the most amount of people possible. And then two other little business notes for you, you know, uh, the health and fitness industry is the most competitive one out there, right? Everybody has their hand in it, everybody's making health and fitness, you know, from apps to workouts to whatever, so it definitely is a way to stand out from the crowd. Um, and then, you know, obviously the, the whole uh, has a mission, which is, you know, we believe that every heart and soul deserves to be fit. So, you know, this uh, makes it accessible to everybody. It doesn't matter what your income is or is not. Great. Great question. I like that one. Okay. Next one. Dubosity. How does Claudia come up with her recipes? And do you, Coach Kozak, ever do the cooking? Uh, for my recipes, um, I come up with them, you do a lot of swaps, right? So uh, you can just take a regular uh, recipe using butters and vegetable oils and 
uh, sugar, and you basically just do the swaps. So, you know, so a lot of times I'll take traditional recipes and just do that. Or a lot of times, um, trial and error. Uh, you have an idea, you think a couple of flavors may work well together, you get into the kitchen, and you just play with it. Um, so, sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't, and um, needless to say, our grocery bill is kind of high sometimes, because I'm it's true, but hey, constantly you know, we call it, what we call store. that R&D, it's the research and development. It really <laughs> is. So, um, just swapping uh, regular full fat ingredients for healthier options, healthier choices, um, and just coming up with things on my own is really how I do recipes. And I have the best job in the world. Um, I'm a taste tester. So, no, I don't. He's honest. And I, I don't do much cooking. Harry. But, um, especially since I met Claudia, why would I? She's so much better at it than I am. Uh, but, <laughs> but yeah, so I, I'm the taste tester. I mean, 90% of it makes uh, makes the grade, but on the rare occasion, the 10% that something just wasn't right, I'll, I'll definitely tell her. I'll be honest. You will. With her. Okay. Um, pardon me if I butcher your name. I apologize. But Joseph Chazare. So what's the deal with Freddie? I think he's <laughs> cool and all, but is he like your uncle or something? How did he get involved with the videos? That's a good question. I mean, I can see why you would ask that. Um, so uh, I'm just trying to think how much backstory to give you. Um, when I started HasFit, uh, I was managing a uh, fitness center. I was a manager of a fitness center at the time. and. In order to put time into HasFit, I stepped down from the manager position and uh, started doing, went back to personal training. Um, and Freddie was another personal trainer at that gym. So both Freddie and Freddie believed in, you know, in, in my mission, what I was doing. I didn't have anything. I was building this site from scratch at the time, and you know, I wasn't a website guy. So you know, it, the website was definitely uh, much cruder than it is now. And Freddie believed in me. We, you know, we were friends before, but. Uh, it really um, strengthened the friendship, and he, he, he came with me, and we uh, we started a personal training business together from, from scratch. And I, you know, I had the personal training business plus uh, all the all the HasFit uh, workout video content. And you know, I, he takes a load off me. I don't have to do all the videos. He, um, you know, he he does them for free. He you know he believes in the cause and wants to help you guys out. Uh, you know, and, and he, honestly, he's he's good at what he does. So, um, you know, he kind of he kind of got in at the at the beginning stages of, of Hasfit, and he's a, he's a great trainer, but he's an even better friend, and so I've stayed loyal with him uh, the whole way. Awesome. Well, that was a good question. No, it's not my uncle. <laughs> <laughs> uncle Freddie. Uh, Al Yessa. Yes. I want to know how often do you work out to stay in shape and what workout routines do you do? You want to hit that one first, Claudia? Um, sure. How often do you work out? Is it's, I'll repeat I, it for her. Sorry. I want to know. <laughs> she wasn't paying attention. I do pay attention. I, never. I, at least not when I talk. Um, I want to know how often do you work out to stay in shape okay. and what workout routines do you do? I work out, try to work out at least five days a week. Um, I have to pull it back sometimes. She wants to do a little too much. I do. But five days a week for me, I feel great. Uh, four days a week, I feel good. Um, anything less than four days a week, I feel really, what do you do? really feel bad about doing that. Honestly, I love to long distance run, so I do incorporate, um, you know, five or six mile runs. Um, at least, I try to do it at least once a week. But I also do the Hasfit videos, if you want me to be totally honest with you. Um, they really put me in the best shape of my life. I've never been this lean or this in shape uh, before. So, um, you know, I'll. Ask him, you know, what well, he thinks I should do. Well, as her trainer, I'll help you out a little bit on that one, sweetheart. Thanks. Uh, and, and a five-week schedule, she'll do like one long-distance run, 
we might go to the gym one day a week and do like a strength training workout together, and then the other three days she's doing uh, the Hassan videos, either the, the, the HIIT workouts, the cardio, or the body workouts, weight, whatever. Body weight, whatever it may be. Yeah. And then for me, um, as previously mentioned, you know, I'm a bit of a workaholic, so I'm all about efficiency in my workouts. And to be honest, you know, uh, as a former athlete, you know, when working out and exercise with it, it was everything to me. You know, I was training 20 hours a week, whether it was for uh, you know, arena football or for, for mixed martial arts, whatever it was. You know, that that was like every that was my goal, and my focus. Well, now my goal, and my focus is has fit. So, you know, yes, I want to stay in good shape. I want to be healthy, but I don't I don't work out to be in like you know the in competitive in competitive shape. So that being said, I'll work out three to four days a week, to be completely honest with you. You know, I've been working out my whole life, so I'm fit. That's not going to change. Uh, and, you know, as far as my workouts, I, I usually, I'll probably go to the gym three to four days a week in addition to the uh, one day a week shooting video. So that's a workout for me too, right? And then on the days that I'm in the gym, I'm just doing high intensity uh, training, you know, combination of Olympic lifts and uh, body weight stuff and maybe sprints on the treadmill or plyometric exercises. Cool. Short one. Tina Nance asks, oh here we go, I'm glad we got this one. How did the two of you meet? I'll let you take that one. Oh, shh, <laughs> okay. I figured she might. So, um, this was a little bit of a sensitive one for her at first. I was fine with it. We met Please do this online. We use match.com. I'm not gonna lie. We did. No, this is not an infomercial. This no. is the truth. Truth. But hey, if anybody from match.com wants to put me in a commercial, <laughs> let's talk. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. So um, you know why? Why do we meet online? Okay. So as previously mentioned, I guess I'm just being. I work a lot, so you know I'm not somebody that goes out to the bars or whatever. So you know. Self-employed, so it's not like I'm going to meet somebody um, at work. It's really, you know, limited my options. And then, you know, truthfully, certain things are very important to me. Uh, that, that, that meeting somebody online allowed me to like pre-evaluate them, if you will. Like, okay, yes, you know, these are all the things I'm looking for. And then from there, I was like, okay, is there chemistry or not? Um, and you know, the, the number one thing that was important to me was finding somebody that uh, that, uh, that shared my faith. So. Uh, ensured that you know the person that I was developing a relationship with felt the same way. It's true. I think I well I joined it because um, I was working in corporate America at the time, and of course I have you know you meet people and you have friends, and you go out, and you do you know corporate America things, happy hours after work, and um, I think I was just tired of it. I wasn't really finding um, anything. I didn't, wasn't really having. Any, fulfilling relationships um, at the time, so I was like, you know what, I'm going to go out of my comfort zone, I'm going to go online and see if it works. I was only planning on doing it for a month, I think I just bought like one month, um, and within the first, I don't know, three days of me being online, um, he messaged me, and I don't know, something just told me to respond and, you know, kept emailing one another, and then we finally decided to meet in person. It was like two emails. I sealed the deal real quick. Whatever. But regardless, <laughs> um, and you know, I'm a big advocate now for, for online dating. It's great for busy people. It's great for people who want to meet new people, maybe outside of their normal social circle. And um, like you said, you get to really just pre-evaluate the person that you're reaching out to. You can, make, you can pretty much tell by just looking at the person's profile picture um, or even just reading maybe the first couple of lines, um, whether or not you know they're a good match for you. And as he said, one of the first things I talked about was my faith, and I saw that he mentioned the same thing in, in his profile, so that was definitely um, probably the main reason why I responded back, to be quite honest. So, if you've never done online dating, I definitely highly rec I mean I highly recommend it now. Um, it yeah, she was embarrassed at first, but now it's like, you know what, it is what it is. It's uh, you know It is so common. Yeah, I was exactly. trying on my wedding dress 
uh, like one of the places I tried my wedding dress on, the girl asked me how, you know, me and my fiance met, and I told her I met, we met online, and she immediately told me, you're like the fifth or sixth bride that's come in here today that's told me that. So it is definitely more and more common, so I think it's really losing a lot of the uh, yeah, stigma. The, yeah, the negative stereotype. Yeah, that it, that it once had, you know, maybe five or six years ago, so. Yeah, I mean, just, a, just one last note. I think that one of the coolest things uh, about it is, you know, you really get to find out who somebody is, or maybe previously you'd have to be like four to five dates into uh, you know, in a relationship with somebody before some of these things would even come out That's organically. True. So it just it gets straight to the point. That's true. Uh, Jonathan Lawrence asks, what's your favorite workout together? I like any workout with my wife. Done. Next, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's probably going to be different for the two of us because well, no, our tastes are a little bit different. Yeah, I mean, on I the, okay, so I already know what you would say. Go ahead. no, no, not necessarily. I like the the workouts that we do together when we do the circuits. Mm -hmm. um, so normally he'll create like a a circuit, and we'll do the same thing. Of course, he'll have you know, more weight or whatever on his circuit. So it's basically we're just popping around from like four or five different stations. Um, and we'll do four rounds or whatever. I like it because I try to keep up with him. It's true, so, she's a go-getter. So if he... Nipping on my heels. I do. So I like the competitive aspect. So if he's... Um, we'll usually obviously start at different stations. And then we'll, we'll do the same ones, but we're just going at different times. So if he's moving to a different station and I'm still working on one, like I'm gonna make sure that I step on it and keep up with him. So that way we finish at the exact same time. Uh, it's a challenge. My answer would be um, something that we've only done a handful of times, but I enjoy making my wife do trail runs with, with me. Oh. So, <laughs> I made her do it like third or fourth date. After she got through that, I knew she was a keeper. Go ahead, next one. <laughs> 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 I'm not a trail runner, y'all. I mean, I I would much rather run on the road. I can't handle like the long distance, like because I'm more of like a fast switch athlete. So I mean, I can physically I can do them, but um, they're as far boring. As, to yeah, they're boring to me. So I, I need something a little more exciting, up down hills, sprints. Haley Grayson, how do you prevent binge eating, and how do you recover from it? Yes. Can I be honest? I like I did some binge eating last night. It happened. It was her birthday, though. It so. was. So we went out to dinner last night, and um, I never get dessert when we go out to eat. Um, and of course, it's my birthday, so I got a dessert, and I didn't share. Um, I ate it all by myself. So, um, and I can't. Of course, I had gifts too. So my cousin gave me like a, a basket with, you know, some Godiva a chocolate truffles. Basket. Basically, she's trying to sabotage me. <laughs> so um, I came home and I had some some more chocolates and you know I um, I ate a lot last night so I would consider that binging but even so like on rare occasions when we're around uh, pizza it's another one of my favorite things is pizza um, if there's a lot of pizza there I really have a hard time stepping away uh, and, and saying no so I will probably have four five pieces of pizza sometimes. Um, but honestly, it happens, you do it, you the next day you start fresh, and that's it. You forget about it, you just have to move on. Well, I'm gonna piggyback off of that, which is, it has to be the exception and not the rule. Correct. So, you know, she's talking about something she did like, when all her, like last night, when all her cousins took her out for her birthday, right? So that's like one time. That's not like, oh, it's just a Wednesday night and I'm sitting here on the couch and I have nothing better to do than eat. So, you know, I, 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 I'm a firm believer in, you know, unless you're training for a bikini contest or a bodybuilding show or, you know, something that, like, requires you to be, like, at optimal peak fitness, you know, enjoy life. So, you know, nine, you know and, 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 yeah, so 90 percent of the time, be strict, be, you know, eat healthy, treat your body like a temple, et cetera, et cetera. But, yes, you know, 10 percent of the time, it's my birthday. I don't allow myself to have some money jail. It was like, it was like. Well, it was dairy-free ice cream and... Yes, I'm lactose intolerant. It was like dairy-free ice cream and like this little brownie thing. 
Okay, so Correct. She, she has allowed herself to have that. We don't yeah. have any. We don't have that in our house. So I'm gonna say, oh, here we go. There you go. That's don't keep it in don't the house. Don't buy it. Don't right? buy it. Don't, don't buy it if you can't handle it. If you if you can't, here we go. There's the best the line. If you can't eat it responsibly, then don't put it in your house. Don't put it in your pantry. Don't put it in your refrigerator. So you know, if you have to go out to get it, that'll be a big deterrent. You know, then there's other simple things like. You know, if you feel yourself, uh, if you're about ready to gorge yourself, you can chug a bunch of water so you don't feel hungry anymore. Uh, another good one is to eat frequently to, so that'll help your, uh, your blood true. sugar so it doesn't plummet because a lot of times if we want to binge eat, it's because, you know, we haven't... Uh, we've been starving ourselves yeah, all day. We've been starving ourselves all day. So those are, you know, a few little tricks like that. But at, at the same time, I think probably the best advice is just don't buy things that you can't control. You know, don't, don't put them in the house. That's true. Uh, it was me. It's Go ahead. It's me. Uh, Justice asks, how old were you guys when you decided to start working out? Um, <laughs> I was young. Birth for this one? Pretty much. Probably came out with dumbbells in his hand. It's true. <laughs> yeah, I don't know where, I mean, honestly, I was like the weirdo kid that would like try to like organize uh, sporting events in the neighborhood and let's say we everybody had to go up to the school to play football i remember like jogging while everybody else rode their bikes so i'm just weird okay so i've been exercising forever she's not normal. she's normal not me no um i was i think i did a blog post about it but i was i think i was like 28 or 27 which actually is not long ago um and it was after i got some uh, numbers back from the doctor when i had gone for a physical so my cholesterol was high, and that runs in my family. Um, and I honestly, I was just uncomfortable in my clothes and the way I was feeling about myself. So from that point, I decided to make a change. So I would say it's been within the last three years. Her family tells the story I've probably heard it like 20 times. When she, when she was younger, uh, like young, younger. I was an active kid too. Yeah, moderately active kid. She, uh, she, uh, she was cheerleading. She wanted to cheerlead. She loved to cheerlead, but she quit because the practice was held on a bike top and she, had, and she was sweating. Look, y'all, it's hot in Texas. So she quit because she had to sweat. And if anybody knows, when you're in Houston, it's humid. So no, I did not like to sweat. Quit because she had to sweat. That's the moral story. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Okay, next question. Keep calm. And Get Inked asks, what is your motivation to keep on doing your videos and everything around Hasfit? Uh, that's a good question. It's you guys. Uh, you know, at the end of the day, um, you know, you know, money and being successful, you know, that's great, but it's not gonna, you know, it's not gonna keep you moving when things are hard and when you want to quit and when you're tired. But what will are those, you know, like the little thank you emails and the, uh, the testimonial uh, before and after pictures and testimonial uh, stories that I get. I mean, those things, you know, really pull on your heartstrings. I mean, you know, just hearing how much has fit has positively impacted people's lives. I mean, it's something you can't ignore. Um, I mean, you know, even, I mean, as silly as it sounds, I mean, one of my favorite things is when uh, I get pictures or little video clips of, uh, parents working out with their little kids uh, doing the hassle videos, and you know you have four, five, six-year-old kids in front of their TV mimicking, you know, Coach Kozak. I mean, you know, how does that not, not just make you happy? So that's that. That's really what keeps me motivated. I think. Oh, uh, what keeps me what keeps me motivated is um, reversing the trend. Uh, I think I mean, in my family we have a lot of health problems, unfortunately, uh, kidney disease. Alzheimer's runs in my family, high blood pressure, I mean, cholesterol, you name it. Um, so I think it's, it's just um, trying to educate people and trying to give them options and, and hope that um, you can make healthy choices and you don't have to make sacrifices. It just takes dedication. And, um, you know, I hope we hope to inspire people that way, especially me because I, I haven't always been fit. So, um, Hey, if I can do it, anybody can do it. So I think that's my motivation. I just want to let people know that there's hope. 
good answer. Thank you. Joseph Chazare. Joseph again. Is this Joseph? Is this your third one? Right here? <laughs> <laughs> Joseph, did you sack the deck? Were you here earlier? Uh, were you an MMA fighter? Yes, I was. I mean, uh, yeah, I, I fought. Uh, martial arts was like my my sport growing up. I started martial arts when I was four years old, um, and then I. I I did it until I was like 12, 13, and then I took a few years off and picked it back up when I was uh, 18 years old and ended up competing and, and fighting for about four years. So, yes, I, I was an MMA fighter. Seems like a long way, but. But it wasn't. No, okay, it wasn't. let's get this one. Okay, let's call this the last question. <gasps> okay, Jorge, your question made it. Jorge Resendiz asks Do you like Mexican food? Uh, Yes, that's it's obvious. True. It's true. Actually, little known fact, well, probably not. I mean, from my my Mexican wife over here, you can tell she's Mexican. I'm actually 25% Hispanic. Boom, just dropped a bomb. Didn't say that would come, did you? Actually, so, I'm Mexican-American. I'm, I'm like second or third generation, so where he is a little closer uh, than me. His right. grandma's from Mexico City. Correct. So, yeah, I grew up on Mexican food. Uh, but so you know, it's definitely Mexican food is the healthiest of foods. But at the same time, if you go to a Mexican restaurant, like if you want to be healthy, I you know usually I'll get the feet, uh, like the chicken fajitas, but then you know we'll eat the tortillas. Um, Correct. So you know there's a few different options that you can do to, to keep it health Correct. healthier. You know. Yeah. But I, I mean I love guacamole. I love pico de gallo. What I don't and I love tamales. What I don't like are uh, I don't like I don't. Uh, what else I not that's about it. <laughs> Anything else I'll eat uh, except for that. Okay, so Sorry, on that we note. We weren't able to get to all of them. It's okay. On that note, uh, thank you so much for joining us today. This has been, this has been fun. If you guys have any, any ideas for any future videos, anything like this, or whatever, I mean, you know, just go ahead and uh, leave, it, leave your comment in the video description underneath, and uh, we'll check it out. We'll read them and maybe do some of these videos like this in the future. So this is fun. Yeah, it was. We hope that you learned a little bit about us. We definitely want to bring a little bit of a personal touch to Hasfit. So we hope this helped. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, and you know how we like to end it. I'm Coach Kozak from Hasfit. And I'm Claudia. And we'll see you at your next workout.